just over a decade since the conclusion of the United States' involvement in the Korean conflict. The fight against communism brought American forces to Vietnam. During the 1960s, also known as the Decade of Discontent, protests of social norms broke out all across the country, like the anti-war and civil rights movements. While some minorities were fighting for equality, other minorities like women were thriving in the Marine Corps. This is the Marine Corps through the decades. The 1960s, a time of the Beatles and Martin Luther King telling the world about his dream for the civil rights of all Americans. While the fight for equality spread throughout the country, women were rising up in the Marine Corps. Marines like Master Gunnery Sergeant Geraldine M. Moran and Sergeant Major Bertha Billup, the first women to become E-9s, and Rose Franco, the first Hispanic woman to be promoted to Chief Warrant Officer. The 60s was a time of breaking down the traditional social roles, like women staying at home, cooking and cleaning. Master Sergeant Barbara Delinsky, on the other hand, took that to another level. Not only was she out of the house, but she was overseas in Vietnam, becoming the first woman to serve in a combat zone. As America underwent a variety of changes, so did the Corps when they assigned Staff Sergeant Josephine Geber to be the first woman on attaché duty. Later in her career, she would also be the first woman to receive the Combat Action Ribbon. The 1960s was a creative time, with inventions coming out like the ATM machine, the first video game console, and audio cassettes. The nation was climbing to new heights, just like women in the Marine Corps, as they wrapped up the decade by launching astronauts out of the atmosphere and into the disco era of the 70s. We have commit, we have, we have liftoff. Liftoff at 7.50.